All right, so we're gonna have a look in this video at using Mixamo Manim animations, animate animations um, with UE5 using a converter, not having to re-target anything at all. It is really quick and simple and free. Uh, let's get into it. All right then, so we're gonna want to go to your web browser so we can download a bit of software first. Uh, we're gonna go to the site that's in the description, which is Terabilisio Studio or something like that. .fr. Anyway, links in the description. Click the link, and we're gonna go to Mixamo Converter, and we're gonna go uh, uh, store page and direct download. Uh, so you can download that, and once it's done, we're gonna. In fact, I've already got it downloads here. Uh, we're gonna unwrap it. Um, little tip for you: if you use Seven Zip, obviously in Windows Eleven, uh, you have to go to you have to right click, and you have to go to Show More Options, and then Seven Zip. Bit of a pain. In Windows 11, if you uh, right click and and swipe down with the mouse, you get it right there. So there it is, a little tip for you. So let's unzip that. Uh, it says enter pass, which is click OK. And jobs are good on. Click that, delete that. And then in here is your file. That's what we're going to work with. Um, you can put them wherever you want on your PC. I put them in my... Um, documents so i will have to go to my documents and go to uh maximal converter so there it is so that when you run it it should look like this now first thing we need to do is to go to maximo and find an animation so let's go to maximo where is maximo maximo here and this is our guy we want to change this guy to something else so what we're going to do is click upload character and then in this file uh, section here for the converter, you want to go to mannequins and select the UE5 Manny, or you've got Quinn if you want, or the UE4 ones if you're using UE4. So I'm going to go to Manny UE5 and I'll get the simple ones. The only difference between simple and the normal one, I think, is the virtue count of the actual mesh. Uh, so the skeleton's the same skeleton. So let's grab that, drop him in, wait for that to upload might take a minute all right so there he is he is uploaded he all looks all right the fingers are moving and everything so that's good just click next and next again and he will be loaded into the screen so we will pick an action for him now let's go for a dance just to hmm Oh, I'm in characters. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go for animations and let's click dance and let's find something. I like this thriller one. Let's go for this thriller one. So let's click download. You want to click. You want to make sure this says without skin. You want to. You can set your frames per second there. I'm just going to use thirty and I'm going to click download. And then save it in your whatever you want in your downloads. Uh, and this, once that's done then we can shrink that and we need to open up our downloads so there it is so we're going to cut it from there and we're going to paste it in this file system now when we back up to the main file system here we're going to go into the incoming right so go into incoming and paste there and then in the software itself we can left click to continue let's do that and then enter the conversion process click that scroll to the bottom Oop, not quite the bottom scroll to i've gone too far there you go scroll to this section and we've got the thriller part two it's already found that for us because it's in the right folder um you can set a name um a preceding name what's it called uh, thingy at the end of the name I forget what they called um, I'm gonna put UE5 so I know it's a UE5 skeleton and then click here to convert so to click that and there it is it clicks it uh, <laughs> makes it there and it creates it in the outgoing file file so if you click that it'll open up or if you just go to here back out and go to outgoing same thing so you've got thriller part 2 dot UE5 so that is done we are 
complete. So let's go into Unreal Engine 5. I've created a folder and I'm so I'm just going to drag and drop that in. We're going to select the SK Mannequin, not the SK Mannequin Skeleton, because I believe that's the UE4 one. So we're going to go SK Mannequin and we are going to make sure that use default sample rate is selected. Import custom um, attributes or curves. Well, they've, reworked, they've changed the wording on this, but we want to make sure that's unselected. Import born task, uh, tracks. Import born tracks is selected and delete uh, existing morph targets is unselected. Do not import curves with only zero uh, values, unselected. And that's good. Press import. And there it is. So now we are going to, I'm just going to save that. Oops. Ah, oh, this has happened before. Right, there you go. So let's go back and get the mesh. Just get drag money down into the world. And then we're going to select use animation asset. And we're going to find our thriller. Thriller part two dance. And we're going to press play. And there he goes. So it's all working perfect and yeah he's enjoying himself there so that's how you do it it's easy as that a couple of clicks here and there drag and drop done i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna say goodbye ciao sayonara bye bye